this is the final of the men's 5,000 metres. What a lineup! Listen to the noise. You could be forgiven for thinking it's the last lap. It's not, it's the first, and it's the only Kenyan in this field, Cyrus Ruto, who leads at the moment with Farah in second. And this is interesting as Chalimo comes charging up on the outside, the Olympic silver medalist. This really is interesting because usually Steve Ovet, Mo Farah goes straight to the back in these races and it's usually slow. But we've got two interesting developments here. The first is that Chalimo, the man who almost beat Mo last year, has taken the pace on. And the second significant fact is that rather than being at the back, Farah is paying very close attention to what's going on in front of him. Can any of the Ethiopians deliver the knockout blow that has not come Mo's way since the final of the 10,000 way back in Daegu in 2011? This is the lineup, a field of the highest quality. Idris and Kajelcha, will they work together to try and deny Mo Farah yet another gold medal at the end of his track career? Chalimo got the silver behind Barra last year, very fast over the last lap, if he gets it right. The team tactics here potentially could be fascinating with the Ethiopians. Well, there was a classic case, wasn't it, of respect to Mo, they didn't box him in. Richard comes on the outside, the other great Britain athlete, Mo responds again, this is what Mo does best. Kanicha got bunched and pushed back, but he's coming round the other Britain now, onto the shoulder of Mo Farah. This is going to be a memorable 500 metres. We will never see him competing on a track in a British best again. Kajelcha takes it on. The world indoor champion leads at the bell. Can they find a way to depose the British world and Olympic champion? Kajelcha leads. It's Idris, the fast finishing Ethiopian in second. Farah's third with the 17-year-old Ethiopian Varega on his shoulder. Watch Chulino coming wide on the outside for the United States. He finishes like a train. And Farah's having to work here. Chulino's closing in on the Briton. Is it going to be one last gold? Or is he this time, in front of his home crowd, going to be beaten? Farah tied in on the inside. He's grimacing this time. It may not be glory, or will it? He's coming on the inside. Idris is rocking and rolling. And at last, the fabulous Farah is beaten. Idris is the world champion. Farah takes the silver, and Chalimo the bronze. Well, Kajelcha hit the front at the bell. And no Farah found himself boxed in. This time, at the very end of his international career, he could not find a way through. And we should salute the man who does the mobot there at the finish. Only the second Ethiopian ever to win the 5,000 metres. And Farah is a broken man on the floor of the track. He has given so much to British distance running. This time, it was not to be the gold, but what a great career coming to an end here internationally in the Olympic Stadium. This time, it was Idris on top. What a great run there, really, from all parties. What a great race. This was the moment, Steve, where it was a different kind of last lap for Farah because he found himself behind, as you said. The only way they were going to beat him was to be in front of him at the bell, and they were. That's a team tactic. They must have realised they watched him race time and time and time again. Kajelcha knew exactly what he had to do. He's working hard, Kajelcha. They had to take it from 400 metres out, and they had to pile it on. And that's exactly what Kajelcha did. He ran himself into the ground and gave Idris a chance to come at him. But watch here, Chalimo Boxbo. Give him no chance for him to come on 150. Here you see Mo coming on the inside. Kajelch is tiring, looking over the wrong way to his shoulder. He thinks maybe he's got it. But Idris, with that last 50 metre burst, takes it away. And in the end, there's a three metre gap as Mo comes through for second place. A great run from all those athletes. What a great run from Idris, Steve. He knew he had the speed if he was put in the right position. And he owes Kajelch 
a debt of gratitude because the victorious Ethiopian put Barra under pressure at the bell and that's what gave Idris the advantage. Yeah, it was a slingshot technique really, wasn't it? Idris, because of that, won the gold medal. But Kajelcha loses out of a medal because the pace was just too much for him over that last 100 metres.